hi guys welcome you all to my channel in today's video i'm going to be explaining seven tips on how to start up a successful business are you thinking of starting a business do you want to own a successful business then this video is for you i'm going to be sharing tips on how to start up a successful business in case you are joining me here for the first time i am a fashion designer and i own a fashion brand called cd designs where we produce african dresses such as your prom dresses maternity dress couples outfits kiddies wear the link to the website is going to be in the description box below and you can go ahead and place your order i'm also going to be giving out 10 percent discount use the discount code entrepreneur so you want to start up a business you want to start up a business the moment you have that thought or idea of starting up a business i know you are going to be scared and let me tell you questions you are definitely asking yourself what kind of business should i start now the next one you are going to say is how much is this going to cost me of course every business requires capital and money is also like a major goal for every business to start up and also to run every business however the cost you need for a business totally depends on how big your business is and also the nature of your business there are certain business that you might want to start up and you really don't need so much capital and why there are some business that you definitely need capital for you to kick off it all depends on the type of business the nature of the business and how big you want your business to get up to all you have to do is acquire knowledge break down the cost of the business of the business expenses and start okay if there's one thing you're gonna learn from this video is at the end of this video please start stop giving excuses you don't think you are fit enough you don't think you have enough resources you don't think you have enough capital stop giving excuses and just start okay now for you to have a successful business you are also going to ask yourself what sacrifices am i willing to make you are going to cut down on a lot of expenses it could be personal expenses because you know you have a goal and you have a project that you are definitely putting your money into so you are going to sacrifice a whole lot of things it could be the number of times you go out to eat it could be the number of times you spend money on things you don't need because you have a project on hand now i'm also going to say that in as much as you have a lot of things you want to sacrifice please also note down the things you cannot sacrifice and the reason why i'm going to say this is so that you don't lose your self-esteem your self-value while you are starting up a business you need to constantly note certain things that you cannot you know sacrifice just for the sake of your self-love you need to take care of your skin your hair you need to go out once in a while you need to also have a life outside your business so while you have things to sacrifice please make sure you also have things you are not willing to sacrifice so that you don't lose yourself while starting up a business <laughs> So I'm gonna say that create it okay at this point when you have the vision you've also gone ahead to have like the cost needed go ahead and create it there is no perfect time to start up a business I'm gonna tell you there is no perfect time just start once you start you test it that's how you can run the business okay make a lot of research a lot of sample you can start your business and start test it by giving out free product to people so that you can get review from them you can test it by giving out your products on a discount you know so that you can get reviews and also you can build your customer base from there it all depends on how you decide to test it but one thing i'm going to say is never make the mistake of putting the price of your product too low because you want to grow your business to the extent that you are not making profit you know why once you set a price for your product and you have customer base trusting you based on that price the moment you increase the price some of your customer base are going to drop because they believe that you gave them this product or this service for x price so why are you increasing it to y when you can still render the same service so in as much as you are testing it please try to have like a line that you cannot cross in terms of a price you also need to ask yourself that am i maximizing my resources 
person so you want to start up a youtube channel for an example you have a smartphone use it you want to start up your business you have something little you can start with use it okay while you are waiting to have like a big gadget a big camera this big equipment this industrial machine you can start with what you have so what you have could be starting with a local machine or getting a tailor to sew for you you should start look out on your environment and check out what you can do to start your business you have the mindset of getting a very big space for your business you can start up from a little space you can start up from a side of your room you can sacrifice like a portion of your apartment for your business just start look around maximize the resources and just start but while you are starting small please ensure that you don't lose the big picture of your vision because that is the goal okay I'm also gonna say that you need to perform SWOT analysis this is SWOT, strength, weakness, opportunity, and threat. So what is your strength? You need to figure out what your strength is, what your weakness is, the opportunity you have around, and also the traits. Now, for me as a fashion designer, I'm gonna say that I prefer cutting rather than sewing or being on the machine. So cutting is actually my strength, and then sewing is my weakness, right? That doesn't mean that I don't sew, it simply means that I basically prefer the cutting part to the sewing part, and because the cutting part is my strength, I'm going to dedicate more time to draft the pattern and to cut it myself because this is what I love doing and that is where my strength lies now my weakness is sewing I'm gonna delegate that to tailors or seamstress who can come around and couple this up so that at the end of the day I can still achieve my goal and also produce on a very large scale so everyone has like strength and weakness once you are able to identify that focus more on your strengths and try to delegate your weakness or try to work around your weakness now we have opportunity what opportunity do you have and i feel like to have or to start a successful business we have the opportunity of social media as long as you have a smartphone so you have social media like your facebook your instagram create a business page try to create content try to post try to create videos we want to see behind the scene we want to see your content we want to see your face and one thing about using such opportunities like social media is it doesn't limit your business to your geographical location so you can stay in lagos for an example or in Nigeria but because you are very effective or you make use of social media as an opportunity you are going to have clients from different parts of the world that is one opportunity that everyone who owns a business should use if you are not good at running social medias you can also delegate it to people or you can learn while you are starting now your traits your traits are basically people who are in the same line with you however in as much as you know that they are your traits please try not to copy tick for tat okay like it's okay to get ideas it's okay to see how people in the same line with you are doing it but draw inspiration from them rather than copying exactly because you can't do it like me i can't do this like you no matter how you try to copy you cannot do it the same way as the original owner that is why you have your own vision we might have the same business but our vision our goals are totally different so while you are looking at your threats what are they doing what are your competitors doing draw inspirations from them network with them be friends with them learn from them attend seminars with them check out what they are doing that you need to incorporate into your business and see how you can grow it rather than copying them exactly now you need to plan your business planning is very very important plan every damn details in your business starting from your resources to your cost to your customers you need to plan it. You need to plan everything you need. Now, when it comes to planning, you can either do it manually or digitally. It all depends on how good you are and the effective method you find better. So try to plan every single details in your business. And while you plan, you also need to audit your business. Auditing cannot be overemphasized. You need to track every record of your business what kind of fabrics do your customer like what kind of styles are your customers into you know what kind what season of the year do you usually have more sales what season of the month do you usually have more customers the moment you are able to track your business over a period of time you are definitely going to find out 
areas or times where your business are doing better compared to where they are not the kind of fabrics they want and also the type of clients you have so with your track record of auditing you are going to know when to channel your energy how to channel it and who you are channeling your energy to so that you don't end up doing the right thing at the wrong time to the wrong set of people audit your business audit your business it could be daily it could be weekly it could be quarterly you have to audit it you have to sit down plan and audit your business it is very very important now you have to track your business finances finances is one major goal while or how your business is going to be successful your finances is very very important and I'm gonna say that the ability to manage your finance even as a small business owner will determine how you will manage your finance when your business eventually get big there are business that have gone into bankrupts not because they are not making profits but simply because they are not able to manage their finances over a period of time thereby acquiring different loans and they are not able to pay up and at the end of the day they have to close down the business if you are able to manage your business when you are earning hundred dollars you'll be able to manage your business when you are earning one thousand dollars when you are able to manage it when you are earning one thousand dollars you'll be able to manage your business when you are earning a million dollars so you need to manage your finances break down your finances what section is going into savings every business should have savings okay what section is going into investment so investment as a fashion designer could be a fabric it could be a machine it could be importation of fabrics it could be you know you have an investment for your business you have something you need in your business to increase the productivity you have something you need to get in your business to increase the level of output so that could be your investment you can have like set aside an amount of money to be used to purchase an equipment at the end of the month or at the end of every three months it all depends on the income of your business and also the cost of your investment so set a money a portion of the finance aside for investment so that while you are running the business you are also progressing you need to set aside an amount also for the daily run or weekly run of your business it all depends on the business you are running and also as an entrepreneur either as a single person or you have staffs that are working with you you also need to set out aside money to pay your staffs or money to pay yourself or the cost of fabrics or the cost of materials so the ability to manage your finance can it is very very important to own to run a successful business you need to learn how to manage your finance and in order for you to be able to achieve that you need to have track record of your finances and be accountable for every penny in your business where they are going to how you are able to spend it what you bought with them and how you were able to you know make use of that money this just helps your business to grow generally so i hope with these few tips i've been able to share like few tips in order for you to grow or start up your business as a successful entrepreneur first thing you have that vision that mind go ahead and start it while you have the vision start while you are starting create it test it check your strengths your weakness plan your business audit it and also your finances i hope this video has been able to help someone who is looking out to start up a successful business let me know in the comment section what topic you want me to share and thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next one bye